it's not about Baroque music or romantic music or, or anything. It's about showing why we love it and how uh, this is affecting people's life. This is basically it. If people don't connect to it emotionally and connect to the way we love it so much and um, have all the passion about it, if people don't understand, if we can't make them understand, we're, we, we shouldn't do it anymore. Opera is an old art form, it's hundreds of years old, but that cannot stop us from evolving into the future. We have to evolve, we cannot be completely imprisoned by tradition. We have to look forward and do something that is meaningful and that breaks with traditions. That's how I feel about the heritage. It's rich, we don't need to get rid of it, but we need to hold ourselves to a higher standard. To the same standard that film is at, that dance is at. We can't pretend that opera is um, still playing by the rules of 50 years ago. It shouldn't stay that the academics continue to drive what good composition is in Europe and North America because we know that the public is disconnected from that. Um, and opera is a public forum, so I, I love that right now we're getting to unearth kind of the heart of what's at, what, what we care about in opera, not what we care about in opera houses. In my opinion, the biggest challenge is what do we want uh, opera to be? Do we want an opera as a museum art form, completely retrospective, or do we want opera as a living art form that would give sense to our world? For me, the answer is very clear. As a stage director, the cultural heritage is like a big playground. Theatre is actually playing. It's not like a philosophy. It's something you should be immediately touched by it. Also without too much reading and too much preparation. So I think uh, it's not a weight, but it's like a, a, a big garden where you can collect and, and reinvent and mix various things.